In this video, we'll be talking about Edward syndrome. Edward syndrome is a genetic condition in which the infants have one extra copy of chromosome 18. And this extra copy of chromosome 18 causes a lot of problems. This Edward syndrome is also known as trisomy 18. These babies has decreased muscle tone, problems in heart and lung, overlapping fingers, low set ears, clubbed feet, and many other problems. In order to understand all the phenotypes associated with Edward syndrome, you can use the mnemonic known as Mr. Edward, where M stands for micrognathia, so low jaws or a narrow jaws, then renal abnormalities, E for 18 chromosome trisomy, D for digits which are overlapped, then W stands for nothing, but A for abnormal intellect, R for rocker bottom feet, and D for diseased heart. So these babies doesn't survive long because they have profound heart defects. So let us look at what heart defects do they have. First of all, there is ductus arteriosus. There is a ventral septal defect. There are polyvalvular defects, including thick leaflets, long cord tendony, and hypoplastic papillary muscles. All of these lead to a problem in the circulatory system and decrease the heart health. That's why they don't survive for long. Anyway, another distinct feature of these Edward syndrome children is they have overlap digit and underdeveloped thumb. So these are kind of like hallmark signs of Edward syndrome. So let's talk about the biology behind Edward syndrome. So in Edward syndrome, there is an extra chromosome 18, but why is so? So this is a normal process of meiotic division. Due to meiotic division, four types of gametes are formed. Each of these gametes are haploid. So they have one copy of a chromosome coming from the mother or fa father. In the process of non-disjunction, the, the segregation is not equal. One particular gamete might get N plus one chromosome. And imagine this particular chromosome, which is N plus one, is basically the 18th chromosome. So when there is a fertilization, the sperm has, let's say, chromosome 18, one copy. Ideally, the ovum would also have one copy. And after the fertilization, the zygote would have two copies of chromosome 18. But due to non-disjunction, already the mother's ovum has two copies of chromosome 18. And the other copy comes from the father. So end result is there are three chromosome 18. And that's the sole biological reason behind Edward syndrome. Now, there are different types of Edward syndrome known as complete trisomy 18, which is very common and 93% of Edward syndrome cases are complete trisomy. That means every cell in the body has three copies of chromosome 18. The extra crop copy of chromosome obviously came due to non-disjunction defects. Now, there are also other situations known as par partial trisomy 18, where the third copy doesn't contain the entire chromosome, but it has the segment of chromosome 18, maybe 18Q, let's say. Then there is mosaic trisomy 18, which is very rare, but in mosaic trisomy, some of the cells of the body has normal chromosome 18, that means two pairs of chromosome 18, but some of the cells has three pairs of chromosome 18. So the entire uh, baby is kind of like a mosaic. And the phenotype is also highly variable, ranges from normal to the severe phenotypes. So question is, how common is Edward syndrome? Every one case out of 5,000 to 6,000 life birth is Edward syndrome. So it's not really uncommon. Actually, it's the second most common genetic defects in babies. So what increases the risk of Edward syndrome? Maternal age. Because maternal age increases the risk of non-disjunction in the meiosis too. So that is why maternal age matters. Now the symptoms of Edward syndrome can be detected during pregnancy. So there could be very low fetal activity, small placenta, a single artery in the umbilical cord. All of these things would be an indicative of Edward syndrome. But anyway, the detailed test would be done by amniocentesis or chorionic villi sampling. So amniocentesis is a process where which a needle is used to withdraw some amount of amniotic fluid from the fetus and chorionic villi sampling is a process by which some amount of fetal chorion is taken away 
and all these cells are cultured in a dish, eventually the karyotyping experiment is performed. If there is trisomy 18, there would be three pairs of 18th chromosome in this karyotype. So this is how the confirmatory test of Edwards syndrome is done. But anyway, amniocentesis or chorionic villi sampling always is associated with the risk of uh, miscarriage. Anyway, there is no treatment for Edwards syndrome so far. Most of the babies which has Edwards syndrome die before or shortly after they are born. And a small number of Edwards syndrome babies are alive, but they hardly make it to their first birthday. Some of the mosaic cause of Edwards syndrome, which are very rare, they survive, but even they don't survive till adolescence. So this kind of Ed syndrome doesn't have any treatment in future. Who knows? With help of CRISPR-Cas9, there would be editing and it is possible to treat or improve the lifestyle of these babies. Anyway, this is the quick summary of Edwards syndrome. You can get the notes and flashcards in my Facebook page or Instagram. You can support our channel using Paytm, PayPal or UPI and follow us in social media. See you in next video.